The Commissionerate of Customs Preventative of Calcutta, West Bengal announced that on August 23rd it intercepted smugglers transporting an incredible 35 crore rupees, nearly $5 million US worth of stolen Hindu deities. As many as 25 stolen deities were recovered that had been carefully concealed inside a transport truck. Customs recovered seven stone deities including Goddess Parvati, Lord Vishnu and Lord Surya, as well as other artifacts made of bronze and terracotta. The truck was on its way to Bangladesh at the border where a massive amount of cow smuggling also occurs. In January, officers of the Commissionerate of Customs in West Bengal seized seven other stolen deities worth more than 11 crore rupees or 1.5 million dollars US. Hindu deities are requested to live in temples as per the agamic process of prana pratishta. Accordingly, certain pujas must be offered to the living deity to maintain worshipper integrity, to the energizing process and life of the deity, and to continue receiving the blessings of living with living deities. Neither the temple, the land, nor any gifts to the deity belong to any of the devotees or temple management. The deity resides in the temple as a blessing to the humanity and any abuses of the agamic integrity to Hindu deities has lasting negative karmic consequences for the devotees, society and the physical area around the temple. The fact is, temple deities are more alive and more powerful conscious energies than any regular human. The deities deliver benefit for thousands of years because of the knowledge of transmitting conscious benefit through the physical chaitras of Hindu temples. But it all requires adhering to the conscious principles of Veda's Agamas, which over tens of thousands of years have proven to be the most intelligent, effective and powerful way for humans to live, thrive and coexist peacefully on planet Earth. One of the unique contributions of Sanatana Hindu Dharma is this science of summoning the divine conscious personalities to inhabit physical form and continue to radiate measurable and impactful change to visitors and the community. But the entire process must be practiced with integrity to the conscious principles of Veda's Agamas, which have ensured Hindu civilization to thrive for more than 12,000 years, several times longer than any other living civilization modern humans know of. <laughs>